Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase. We have an absolute treat for you today. We have some Primaris white scars led by Kasaro Khan, the man, the legend. Now, if you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Siege Studios is a UK based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 painters who all paint from our bronze premium gaming level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, be it for a character, small force or large army, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote click on that link it takes you directly to the siege studios website and our contact form once you're on that contact form all you need to do very simply is select the drop down options from those available that are relevant for your projects and requirements and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is also shown on that contact form complete that all fire that off to us and we'll come back to you with a quote we're back in a second to have a look at these awesome white scars in more detail see you guys back in a sec so first up, as ever, let's have a look at the character from this commission, and it is the man, the legend, Kasaro Khan. Uh, I do love the fact that GW have been making all of the characters uh, so far. Loads of characters are becoming into Primaris models. I think it's really, really cool. He's got a very cool pose, very stoic, uh, with his cyber eagle as well. Let's just get this to uh, to focus so you guys can see. But um, the whole project's been worked on by Kev, one of the artists here at Siege. He's done a stellar job on Kasaro, um, picking out all those lovely little details that he has got, all the flesh tones, the eyes, and everything all fully painted um the little bionic eye on the eagle as well and uh, obviously you've got the uh, his little friend that he's carrying here one of his uh, heretic victims um but you can see lovely stoic defiant pose uh all the little tassels and everything fully painted loads of highlighting stages done on him Again, a bit of a muted sort of more maroon cape as well, just to not detract from the rest, the red aspects of the uh, the, the insignia and heraldry for the white scars. Uh, now the white is a bit of a muted white, but it has a lovely crisp, super bright white edge highlight on it as well, uh, which is done in a stellar fashion. You've got a little glow there on the uh, power node on the power blade as well. Uh, again, really really cool. I do like the uh, the base as well with this sort of horse uh, kind of in sort of in the rune in the rock as well, which is quite cool. Uh, again, but loads of excellent little details uh, that have been sculpted on this model by GW uh, and again an overall a lovely lovely model I do hope you guys like it now one thing I will show you is the head is actually magnetized and I can take out his bare head and I can place in the uh, magnetized Primaris sort of helmet that he's got as well and you can just obviously position that into different positions let's just move that around it's not in the best position at the moment but we can just put it in and put him and change the pose ever so slightly just get that to refocus for you guys so you can see obviously that option for our client there just allowing him to have a bare head or have the helmeted head as well just adds a bit more character to the model um some people like that obviously characters have helmets some people don't like that so uh, it's good that our client's got the option of doing that with this one i personally prefer him with the bare head so let's get that back in but uh all all, all fully magnetized so he can literally uh be changed to suit how you would like him to go to war. Uh, so that's Kasaro. Up next, we have all of the infantry. There's some aggressors and intercessors coming up next. So stick around, they're up next. See you guys back in a sec. So next up, we're gonna have a look at the infantry from the force and uh, there's a nice selection of squads. We have some aggressors, there's six of those, and then we have 10 intercessors. Um, all of them have got the white scars upgrade pack for shoulder pads. So you've got obviously the white scars um, symbol on the pads as well, which is really lovely. Uh, let's dive in and have a look at these really, really cool models. Let's just get this to focus for you guys so you can have a look. From the get-go, you can see Kev's done a stellar job on all of the areas of detail on these really, really cool models. Uh, you can see those white scar pads there, as you can see, in lovely red to complement that white and sort of contrast against the white. Now, the white is quite uh, bright, but then obviously it has got a super sharp edge highlight of really bright white on it as well. Uh, the lighting here is just uh, very, very bright, but as you can see, if you just move it in light, you can see the edges are all sort of picked out as well with a lovely bright white edge highlight. Super, super clean finish on all of these models, as you'll see. Uh, but this is just one of the sergeants from one of the aggressor squads uh, we'll pull forward the other two from the right hand squads you can see those but again all the lenses there with point of light source and blend through the lens uh, all the little totems and things all fully painted as well in a lovely fashion do love those shell cases just sort of flying out of the gun there as well it's really really cool uh, so that's just uh, another one of the aggressors pull forward the last one from the, the first squad just so you can see him as well all the purity seals all the text and everything done on those as well uh, again you've got the sort of uh, squad markings as well on the other shoulder pad as well which is lovely so that's just that and they've all been free handed on 
Uh, and then we'll pull forward some of the other aggressors just so you can see consistency from model to model within a unit. You've got the lightning bolts on the pad as well there as well, which is really, really nice on the kneecap pad. Uh, the other sergeant from the other squad. Let's just have a look at him with the first of the bear heads. You can see the scar there all done. That's one of the white scar heads with the glowing uh, bionic eye on him as well, which is really lovely. So that's just him moving around so you can see all the little extra little details. The shell was in the back of the uh, ammo hoppers there as well, which is really lovely. Uh, so this is just uh, the sergeant from the other squad. I do like the fact that the missiles on the missile racks are also in that complimentary red as well, which is lovely. Uh, so that's just another one of the aggressors from the uh, second squad. Uh, and then we'll pull forward some of the intercessors, again, all using the uh, White Scars upgrade sprue here. So you've got obviously the lightning bolt on the, uh, on the knee pad there. Uh, you've got one of the uh, white scar heads there, as you can see, with that sort of glossed kind of uh, lens on that binoc eye. The scar he's got down his face and all the eyes and teeth and everything fully picked out. He's got a band there in his hair, red one, obviously, to complement his uh, armour. All the little screens and things on the armour all painted, as you can see there as well, with nice blends and point of light source as well. You've got this uh, lovely, lovely curved chain blade there as well, which is really cool. Uh, and then moving around, all the pouches and everything all fully highlighted there as well, all the gold work and everything all done. But again, a really, really lovely, lovely clean finish on these white scars. That's just a sergeant from one of the squads. And then we'll pull forward uh, just really quickly, because there's only 10 of them, I'll pull forward all of these incestors so you can see them. Lovely, lovely skin tones done on these as well, but all of the uh, attention to detail, little trinkets and things all painted. You can see the white scar symbol there done as well in a lovely fashion. Uh, so that's just um, one of these intercessors and then we'll move through and have a look at the rest of the squad just really quickly again we'll love the little totems and things that you get with the um, with the upgrade packs it's nice that GW are doing all the character for the sort of adding elements to the uh, chapters as well which is really cool uh, another bear head I think this is just a standard intercessor bear head if I'm correct uh, but he's got obviously it kind of fits in well with the scar across his eye there but again you can see all the eyes and everything all fully picked out as well which is lovely uh, so that's just him and then we'll have a look at the uh, the other bear, the other sort of helmeted intercessor from that squad as well. Again, loved with the auto bolt rifle there with a big hopper full of uh, full of rounds, which is really cool. So he's just advancing here, but you can see lovely addition there of the white scar pad on him. But every little detail, super crisp, and you've got that lovely, lovely white edge highlight on that armor. It's a bit of a muted white, um, which is really cool. And then that white highlight just stands out lovely on the armor as well, which is really cool. Again, all the little trinkets and things done on him. He's just advancing and firing here, which is really cool. So that's just uh, another one of the incestors from the second five-man unit. Uh, we'll save the sergeant till last because he's... Uh, quite a cool model and then uh, you've got obviously all the little details and things painted on him as well in a really really cool fashion so that's just uh, another one of these intercessors um, and then we'll pull forward the other bear head from this five man unit so you can see him this is another one of the white scar heads but all the eyes and everything all painted there as you can see uh, again really clean finish on all of these but lovely, lovely attention to detail across the models from model to model uh, and then the final helmeted normal guy is this chap here with a skull dangling there as <laughs> well, one of his previous victims maybe, uh, or some heretic. Um, but then again, really, really lovely attention to detail on this. I do love the fact that the uh, all the pouches and everything are black to complement the armour and contrast against the armour, really lovely. But with the lenses there, you can see the point of light source and blend in the lenses with a little bit of a gloss just to give, add a bit of a sheen to those lenses as well, which is really cool. And then let's bring forward the final sergeant uh, from the other five man unit and he's obviously got green lenses to complement that red helmet that he's got all the white scar symbols all fully picked out a little screen on his wrist all painted we blend the pint of light source and energized look and then he has some uh, of his friends that he's uh, carrying along with him and uh, I love the little pouches and things as well I think they're really really cool but again this is the other sergeant from that unit again a really really lovely lovely finish on all these models uh, and that's just the sergeant from the second five man intercessor unit so I do hope that you like those uh, we're back in a second to have a look at the force all again in all its glory and you can find out a bit more about how to take out a commission with us here at Siege see you guys back in a sec So thanks for checking the video out, guys. Really do appreciate it. And I do hope that you like these Primaris White Scars led by the man, the legend that is Kasaro Khan himself. I know that Kev had a phenomenal time working on the project and this is an additional phase for one of our previous clients. So it's really nice to add some more models to his force. If you are interested in the commission with us here at Siege, then all you need to do very simply is in the description of this video where it says get a quote, click on that link. It takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're there, select the relevant drop-down options 
options for your requirements and what you would like from those available. And then in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is also shown on that contact form. Fire that off to us to get hear back from us with a quote and get the process started. Now, while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favor. Firstly, like the video with a thumbs up, that'd be really helpful. Subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with all the new videos that we do put out. And if you do hit the bell icon, you will be notified when new videos do go up. Lastly, in the description, there's a link to all of our social media, so Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Go give us a like and follow respectively on those, and you can keep up to date with all the other things that go on here at Siege. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.